He got off the plane and beelined to Craig, wrapped his arms around him. <laughs> I was like, wow. I, I felt at that moment, he just walked into my heart. At one point in my life, I couldn't imagine not having my own child. I needed to be a mom in some way. And being a volunteer and with Kids Save, I warmed up to the idea of adoption and thought maybe it'll be right for me, maybe it won't. I really didn't think seriously about adopting until we met Sebastian. I was more worried about how are the, or, you know, is it going to affect our relationship? And you know, you're changing the dynamic of something to people that met later in life after I had been a father. And I think I even said to Beth, you know, this could be the best thing in the world for you and the worst thing for our marriage. So for me, it was just looking at the experience and seeing uh, how it went. And we made a decision we would host. And that was basically as far as I went. So in July 2010, Sebastian arrived and he was to stay for five weeks. And during that period of time, we were tasked with advocating for him, um, providing him an experience, an American experience, a vacation experience. It felt like I knew it was, there were gonna be challenges, but how could we not adopt this kid? This was not something that you just stepped into. You had to talk it through and there were lots of things to consider. And I know you had some conversations. <laughs> I had three daughters that I was gonna have to talk this through and it's not always something that's you know spectacularly easy for me as far as you know anything that feels like it's gonna ruffle their lives. I also think my daughters felt that from the standpoint of their relationship with Beth that this would be a good thing. That, you know, that being a mother was a very important part of her life that had been missing. And I think they felt um, hopeful. So you see how what this says here, what we have to have? To pass something on, have a legacy, was something that I always wanted and wasn't sure how to get there. One cup flour. Mm -hmm. It's just been such a rich experience. Um, and, and I have been able to be both a grandmother and a mother in the same year. <laughs> and I think this experience has brought us closer together. Having Sebastian, we both have the same focus. We both have this purpose. We want to make sure that we are doing all we can for this little boy. He's now not such a little boy. Turn it on. You know, it reinforces for me that being a father is going to probably be my main role. Although grandfather's coming in uh, right there. It's, uh, <laughs> Look at everybody it's a good option for someone that, that might have thought that there wasn't any options. Right, but a lot of people might've... think that, yeah, if you're 45, over 45, you can't adopt. And you might not be able to adopt an infant, but you, there are a lot of really terrific older kids out there. I have the capacity to do this. Of course I'm gonna do it. Might not seem all that logical, but you just have such an impact.